Hello, Xander from the Talkerspirit.com website, and today I have an unboxing of the Garden of Sinners Blu-ray Collector's Edition, the American Blu-ray Collector's Edition that they've actually released from Aniplex USA. Uh, I think, believe I believe exclusively through RightStuffAnime.com, so... Yeah, this is a this is a title that I've been wanting to pick up for a long, long time. I wasn't really too sure about picking up the Blu-ray from the uh, Japanese release, the uh, collection just in there, just because it was a kind of a it's pricey. Plus, it wasn't you know a full-on release for America, North America. So it's kind of one of those things that makes you kind of hesitate. And then I think it ended up out uh, selling out. So uh, this is a really bad uh, position for the tape to be. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this daggone thing cut here. Uh, I think the collection edition DVD, I think they did a DVD one. I'm not, it's like a no, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, it's, <laughs> this is a foodable. This cannot be done on DVD. Uh, that's kind of a, it's just a no-no. It's, it's like, uh, you know, washing your Ferrari with cheap uh, store brand soap. I don't know what you would wanna equate it to. It's just, just, a, just a, it's a no-no. So uh, yeah, when they did, when they said they were going to do another full release, also because the uh, original collectors, I believe, did not have like the final movie. So this is like a for sure. This is everything unless they do another release here soon, which I guess they totally could do. Um, nice chipboard box for once. Uh, usually with Aniplex USA, you don't really get like you know thick chipboard. It's usually like, very flimsy, kind of like the uh, all but maybe two of the Baki Monogatari series or Monogatari series. Uh, very glossy. It is a kind of a sticker wrap on it, which is kind of typical. I don't know if you're going to be able to see very well. It does kind of have a foliage text on there, so that's pretty cool. Very, very nice. It does pick up fingerprints, kind of like a, a piano finish, so it's going to pick up a lot of fingerprints. Really cool art on the back here. Um, yeah, it's just uh, a very beautiful series, so like I said, very much worth getting it on Blu-ray. That's the usual send us information thingy majiggy. Uh, we have the, I don't know, this is like some kind of chapter art book. Probably all the art that was included with the blue, uh, the actual uh, Japanese release. They usually kind of include them in a little booklet. I don't know what all here is spoiler. I've watched, I think, six of them. I, I know I haven't completed it, but I think I've watched about six of them. So um, this will be nice to have them on Blu-ray just to kind of finish through them. They're available, I believe, still on Amazon to stream if you have Amazon Prime. So uh, that's why I end up watching quite a bit of it. Well, I think I might watch some of them on... I don't remember where I watched. I think it, it might have been Crunchyroll, but I think it was Amazon. So these are very basic uh, Blu-rays here. Nothing really fancy about them, but does have really gorgeous uh, artwork on the front and back of each case. So that is a plus. And yeah, this is, uh, for those who don't know, this is, I think, eight. Let me see. Yeah, eight total movies. So it is very pricey. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to explain to people why it's worth it because people are pretty set in their ways. This is too expensive. They should come out on prices. They're pr pretty much not going to because Amplex is kind of fighting with itself in Japan. So it's not going to release something really cheap that people are going to, you know, back import to Japan. So. Um, but what's nice about Aniplex is that they, you know, they're they're very, I mean, this is literally eight discs. They, they didn't put it all, you know, like three on one disc. Uh, they're very high quality uh, releases. And if you get a foodable releases, you want to have high quality because they are very gorgeous production values. Um, and so essentially you're getting eight movies here for that $250 or whatever. So while it does sound expensive, it, it literally comes out to, I don't know, like like thirty thirty dollars each, so I mean it's, it's it's as if you know you've seen okay Garden of Sinners movies are now released and here's the first movie it's thirty dollars, I mean that's standard for a movie, and then you have eight of them that's why it's kind of adding up you have eight full length movies in here, and they're not short movies I think they're roughly in the hour or so long length I probably should look that up beforehand. The runtime it lists is 532 minutes, so that's above, about an hour and uh, six minutes each. So, I mean, like I said, they're full-length movies, and there's eight of them, so that's kind of where your price is coming from. It just kind of looks bad because this is one box, and it's only $200. You're getting what they've been kind of producing over several years um, in one release. So, 
I know that's not going to justify it for a lot of people, but that's kind of my mentality going into it. So I don't know if you want to use that mentality going into it. It is an investment. It is a lot of movie. It's a lot of runtime. Um, but it's very high quality. This is Ifootable's work here. And uh, like I said, it's the Blu-rays should be very high quality because they're from Metaplex. So, yeah, I wish uh, a lot of other releases kind of had this treatment just because um, it deserves it. And I hope to finally finish it and probably give a review on a podcast. But I thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy this unboxing. Like I said, not much to see inside of these cases just because they're kind of plain discs. Um, but uh, it is a, it's a gorgeous box. So nice to house it but i thank you all for watching and you'll take care